you know what I love is when we have a guest who really loves a good chat, and, and we've got one there. Well, hello. How oh. are you, Jane? Uh, oh. Known as very well, thank you. Known as the Fleetwood Assassin, Jane Couch, if you don't know who she is, was once one of the world's most respected, and probably still is, one of the most respected fighters when it comes to the arena of women's boxing. Five world titles. Uh, it's quite a record you have. But the battles, in many ways, were outside the ring, as well as inside. Yeah, I think the five world titles was really hard to win because I was on the road and I had to go pro to win them. But the biggest mental battle was in the courtroom. With those people who don't world. know, you, you started boxing at a time when women weren't allowed to box. As simple as that. And yeah. this was a fight you had to try and earn that right. Yeah, and I didn't realise the, the magnitude of the fight at the time when I, I, ju I just wanted to box. I was just a young girl from Fleetwood, just wanted to achieve my dreams and become world champion. So you don't you don't sort of realise what's involved as you as a young kid, you just And it all starts I mean you've you've written a book talking about kind of your boxing career because you have dumped in your words <laughs> boxing now. It's it's not now getting to be part of you've actually buried it. You start yeah. the book by burying That's boxing it. and then you take us through the story of what it meant to you. So when you first started you were battling against all the men, men in amateur boxing who just wouldn't even train you for stuff because you were a woman. That's it. And then you were fighting, you managed to get some professional fights and, and title championships abroad. Yeah. But then that was the resistance to it bringing it back here professionally in the UK was funny and it was all with the boxing board, wasn't it? It was the boxing board and the promoters <coughs> that worked with boxing board, so it was. You just couldn't get a fight, it doesn't matter. So tell me when, when it w eventually went to court, tell me some of the, the reasons <coughs> um, you were being given. Well, so eventually, so after four years of fighting, so you know, going abroad, winning the world titles abroad, and, and I wasn't going to court as a novice, I was always a, already a two, three time world champion, and fought some good fighters on some of the biggest bills in the world, the same bill as Lennox Lewis, Prince Nassi Mamet, Roy Jones Jr, Mickey Ward, so I was already on massive TV stations in America and then coming back here it was just it was like going back in in the dark ages and it was like no we're not having women's boxing why what, what excuses did they have well, what reasons did they have the Frank Maloney disgusting freakish vile the, like it was just it was just horrendous so by the time we got to the court the, the press was quite vicious by then so the two women that represented me, Sarah Leslie and Diana Rose, they were ready for it. They just made the boxing board look the chauvinistic people they were. Once they got to call, they just ripped them. It's a battle that you won, but what about generations now? It, to be fair though, it was a battle that we won and it took a, it, it was two years in the making of winning it, but it, it was just the start really. So yes, we got it licensed and got it legalised, but there's still a lot of problems now for girls. The thing that's really interesting is, and we build you as this as well, um, I'm trying to give you a big build, I know you're used to men, we're coming to the end, but it, when Nicola Adams won at the Olympics, yeah. she named you, yeah. and that must have made it all, not all worthwhile, but at least made you realise you've made a difference. Of course it was, but people like Nicola and all the other girls from the 2012, it, it wouldn't have happened unless we ever took, took the court case, and it was just, it was just a massive day for the support, sport, and it, you're thinking, well, now the court case is going to get some recognition. But even then, after the 2012, they still didn't really want to recognise it because it was me and I was this monster that had took them to court and got well, legalised. Jane, you made a difference, absolutely, and the book makes that really, really clear. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, it's been thanks. joyful talking to you on the sofa this Thank morning. Um, Jane Couch's new autobiography is called The Final Round. That's it from us.